Hey y'all, in today's video we are going to run the chipless firmware on the P600. First thing is first, you need to turn on your printer, connect it via USB to the PC, and download its original drivers from Epson and install. Once you've done that, I'll take you over to the PC so we can get started on the p600 chipless firmware once again it must be connected via the usb usb port is behind the printer it must be turned on and installed like a normal printer once you have that let's move on to the pc and get through the steps Okay, if your printer is connected to the PC, you are going to turn off the printer using the power button. Wait at least a minute. Then you'll have to enter the printer into firmware mode. And to do this, you'll simultaneously hold button one, button two, and button three for three to five seconds then release this button and continue to hold a combination of these buttons until the screen shows update firmware mode here we go. all three let go of the back button There it goes. Now we'll go to the PC. Hey y'all, what's up? So here we are on the continuation of um, installing the chipless firmware on the PC. We have now put the printer on program update mode uh, via the buttons um, that I pressed on the video. So then now you'll go to inkchip.net and you'll go to software. You'll choose your printer. This is a P600 that we're working on today. You'll want to download the firmware, the activation, and here is quick instructions on how to get it um, on firmware mode, which I've just showed you. Once that is done, you're going to go over to your desktop, right click on the ink chip firmware and extract the files. Once the files have extracted, you want to open up the firmware or the folder and click on inkchip.net firmware. Fairly simple guys. Uh, once you have done that, you're going to click next. You have to agree, click next, click next. And we're going to hit start, hit yes, okay, then I'm going to bring you over to the printer because the rest will happen over at the printer. All right, this is the indication that it is done. Once that is done, you're going to turn off the printer. 
hit the back button and turn it off. Then turn it back on and we'll go back to the PC to activate the firmware. Okay, now that the printer has powered on, you will need to click on the inkchip.net activation and you'll have to run it. We are doing the P600. Here it is. Activate online. I'm going to input the code that I have purchased from the website. And the activation code was written successful. I'm going to restart the printer. And let's see what goes on. Okay, I am restarting the printer now. All firmware has been downloaded and activated. There we go. It is chipless, y'all. It is chipless. <laughs>